what are some of the strategies to do this? You uh, uh, modify or actually break a mechanism of action that would lead to toxicity. So when you know the, the mechanism of, of what has to happen in the body in order to cause a toxic effect, you, um, you make that greatly disfavored through, through molecular design, or you make it impossible. Uh, change the, the various reactive functional groups that you know are related to the toxicity. You reduce or eliminate bioavailability, we've talked about uh, a lot. Uh, you reduce the need for associated uh, hazardous substances. What do I mean by that? Well, we'll talk more about it, but sometimes the molecule that you're using isn't what you're most worried about. However, it requires the use of another associated substance. One example might be paints. Maybe you've made the perfectly innocuous dye, and that's fantastic, but that dye can only be used in a particular paint solvent system, and that solvent system is, is bad. What you've, uh, what you've done is you've shifted your hazard concern from uh, that molecule to the fact that it uh, requires a different uh, toxic substance. And we talked a lot last um, session about the design uh, of uh, end of useful life, uh, product life. So where the mechanism of action is known, the, the, the first one, uh, it, it's possible to um, to design the molecule so that electronically it can't carry out those reactions in, in order to bring about toxicity. It is just not able to react. Um, and that is, um, that's always going to uh, result in lower toxicity. With the reactive functional groups, there are whole classes of, uh, of different chemicals that we know bring about toxicity. Uh, we know that certain types of electrophiles, those electron-loving uh, molecules, are going to carry out reactions in the body. If you make something less electrophilic, if you move that electrophilic group, you're going to drastically disfavor the ability for that to do it, so changing the reactive functional group. A, um, a nitrile, that's a C triple bond N. Uh, Nitriles are widely used in industry, R being any group. Widely used in industry for a wide range. Of, you'll note that it might uh, wind up being able to release cyanide. By moving away from uh, the use of a nitrile group, substituting in another group, you'll be able to um, move to a less toxic alternative. Uh, we've talked a lot about reducing or eliminating bioavailability since we know how to design molecules that have uh, different log KOWs, octanol water partition coefficient that we all remember, uh, whether or not something's going to be respirable and be able to breathe in. By changing that, we can get out of the zone of, uh, of bioavailability. And I already uh, mentioned that different types of, uh, using the example of paints that require solvents, different types of uh, plastics that require particular types of additives that we have already visited. That can be uh, carcinogenic, sometimes uh, uh, endocrine disrupting. Moving away from, from those substances requiring these, uh, these other hazardous substances. And then we covered a lot of ground last, uh, last week uh, on the end of useful life.